what could you tell us about how to raise your spirit, children spiritually? We know a lot of the practical things on raising children to obey, but how do you teach them about the spiritual things, the things of God? In an ideal scenario, the, the spiritual training of children in the home would be headed out by the father. Yeah. He would be the one that uh, brings the family together in a, at a special time in order to share the scriptures and in order to train. My husband had shared something about the task of the husband in order to do that. Mm -hmm. And um, there are different scenarios that that doesn't play necessarily to be the perfect one most of the time or the one that we would all want. We may have husbands that are uh, unbelievers or... My husband was like that for a while. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Or husbands that are not mature in the faith or single mothers or divorced mothers, you know, different, different scenarios. But um, let's put it in the, in the scenario of the father and mother who are both believers. The father would be the one heading out the training and the discipleship of the whole family, not only the children, the whole family. Mm -hmm. And um, in the case of a, a mother who's married to someone who is not a believer or who is alone, uh, she would take the training of the children and of, you know, foremost importance is that it would be based on scripture. Yes. That mm -hmm. um, when they are small, starting from the time they're small, to use Proverbs is one of the greatest tools and also to pray with them and to teach them to pray. A lot of times uh, we allow children to hear us pray and to read the scripture with us as a model for them to follow. And children at the beginning mimic everything mm -hmm. and say things. Um, for example, my oldest, when he was small, he would say random words that he wouldn't understand, but because he would hear them in the context of church or of prayer. But eventually these words, whether sanctification or glory or, 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 or justification or anything, they begin to have a meaning to them. So it's a good thing that they're exposed to the, to the language of scripture, to yes. the language of, that we speak while we're praying in order for them to shape for them to shape their own prayer time or their own um, time with the Lord and do you um, add <coughs> memory verses to that as well then we do we do add memory scripture from the time they're small mm -hmm. but we try to use scripture that applies to daily things whether it's uh, yeah. worshiping God with their with their mouths yes. or whatever the situation calls for. absolutely yeah. or using their hands to serve others and always uh, reinforcing these verses once uh, the action is being carried out. Um, another thing that is important to point out as far as um, training children spiritually is that we need to be careful not to demand that our children uh, rise to a level to which we have not risen. Yeah, treat them like many adults. Yes. They have expectations. They have expectations high. of that sort and also because it would be hypocritical on our parts, you know, to tell them you should not be hateful or you should not be lazy or, or uncourteous to people when we are modeling that. Yeah. So there's a whole lot of, of, of importance there to know that we need to become the adult we want our children to be. If our walk with Christ is such, their walk with Christ is going to be similar yeah. or worse. Yes. They're but not we want it to be yes. better. So in that sense, always being careful to show them that we are subject to the same commands of Scripture and the same demands of Scripture that they are. To the same God. Yes, yes. that we need to answer to God in the same way that we uh, tell them they need to answer to God. When we correct them with Scripture, that same Scripture corrects us. Mm -hmm. When we go to them because we have to ask for forgiveness, we explain to them, I have sinned against you. I have done this wrong because Scripture says this. Yes. I was impatient with you. I was unkind. I yes. spoke harshly to you and I'm wrong and and God demands that I restore our relationship and and God has put me over you but at the same time God is over me yes. and I have to answer to him and I have to restore our relationship to show them that we're on the same plane yeah that Will they you please forgive me yeah. yes and yeah. um, also to show them that our Christian walk is real that yeah. we are not perfect we're not trying to portray the perfect parents that have all the rules perfectly, that we obey all the things perfectly, but to show them that we are subject to the same things and that there's mercy for them and there's mercy for us and that we're walking together in fellowship Amen. and growth before the Lord.